This weekend, Silicon Valley will be on the international stage, even more so than usual. HBO's new comedy series called Silicon Valley debuts Sunday night. This is a satire of the techie culture right here in the Bay Area. Our own Gabe Slate got a preview and talked with the creators and cast. If you want to live here, you've got to deliver. Like Steve. Jobs are Wozniak. HBO's Silicon Valley is about a handful of entrepreneurs all living in one house they call Hacker Hostel. Bit soup. It's like alphabet soup, but it's ones and zeros instead of the letters. They're trying to make it big in the tech scene. You remind me of my son. He's got Asperger's too. They're engineers developing a powerful new app that is starting to generate buzz. How's doing nine times F is? It's 75. Where everyone wants to be an icon is the tagline of the show. On the tech beat, I'm used to coming down to Redwood City to cover various tech stories. It's a little strange to have a big Hollywood red carpet premiere here with major celebrities and producers. Right. HBO picked the Fox Theater in Redwood City to premiere their new comedy series, Silicon Valley, hoping to generate some buzz here in the real tech community. They rolled out the red carpet for the cast and producers who attended the screening. Mike Judge is the creator of the show. He was the man behind Beavis and Butthead, King of the Hill, and the movie Office Space. He was inspired to do this show based on personal experience. He worked as an engineer here in the Bay Area in the 80s. It's a long time ago, though. The world has changed, but the characters, I think, are the same. Mike Judge told me he worked hard to make sure that this show was authentic and true to the startup culture here. I think even if you're making fun of something, as long as you're taking the time to really observe it and make it as accurate as you can, then I think, I think people will appreciate it. I spoke with several of the actors in the show. They are all up and coming comedians. They expressed their hope that the real techies here in the Bay Area like the show. So we're hoping not to offend any of the real techies of Silicon Valley because they have a somewhat powerful presence in the Twitter sphere. They're going to love it. It's their world. We're going to. I think we're holding a mirror to nature for them, and uh, they don't have to look at themselves because we're all much prettier. You know, the, the experience of shooting a show is not unlike I, what I would imagine. Being involved in a tech startup is like we're thinking like, oh, I hope people like it. I hope this has traction. I hope that, you know, it works. They screened the first two episodes of the show for the media. So here's my impression. It's good. It's funny. They make fun of what a lot of people do here, but they do it in a harmless, fun way. I don't think most people will be offended. And it's good for Silicon Valley. It's just another thing that puts us on the international map. Uh, HBO is a major player in the entertainment industry. So overall, I think the show will be good for the Bay Area. Gabe Slate. Cron 4 News.